how is Tampa, Florida treating Rob Gronkowski? Oh, man, Tampa, Tampa, Florida is treating me well, uh, Randy, man. Uh, it's a blast down here. The weather is unbelievable. You know, uh, up north, we're used to blizzards, snowstorms. I grew up in Buffalo, New York, too, so uh, that was always, you know, cold with a lot of snow, too. But uh, it's weird, though, at this time because the sun goes down, you know, around 5 o'clock. And I'm used to when the sun goes down around 4 or 5 o'clock that it's cold outside. It's weird that it's still 75, 80 degrees out and the sun's going down and it's 5 o'clock. I'm like, nah, like, like it's supposed to be, you know, light out till about 8 p.m. when you're in nice weather. But uh, that's the only difference I got to get adjusted to. But the weather's phenomenal. There was a tropical storm the other day and it was kind of weak. It was only 25 miles per hour wind. And I was always saying if a hurricane hit here, I'm going to stay because I never been in one and I always wanted to be in one. But uh it was a weak tropical storm, so I'm going to have to stay a little bit longer, uh, you know, next year and see if we get a hurricane or, or a, you know, a stronger tropical storm and just be chilling and watching it, seeing what it does. Did you did you see, did you actually see uh, the Sunday night game with uh, the Ravens and Patriots? Did you see the climate and the conditions that they were playing in? And do you miss those? Yes. Uh, I don't miss that type of climate, you know. I always say this. Everyone's like, oh, you do, you, do you, you know, how much better is it to play in the warm weather? You know, I don't mind when it's cold out. Like, I don't mind when it's 25 degrees, 30 degrees, 35 degrees, as long as it's not windy. If it's windy, oh, it's the worst to be in that temperature then. And uh, if it's windy and raining at like 35 degrees, 40 degrees, that's the worst. I do not miss that. But uh, I, I, I always like playing like when it was 25, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. As long as there's no wind, then it was cool. But uh, when it's rainy and windy, uh, I, I don't miss those ones at all. Well, look, when you, when you, walked, when you walked away for, for, from the game for, for a short stint, you know, just the football world and, and, and the fans of yours was just, you know, puzzled and just wondering why. And, you know, I did that. I took a year off, you know, just to relax my mind, relax my butt, my body. But for you to be able to come back, not just come back to the National Football League, Grunk, but you came back to play with Tom. What was your reason for coming back to the league? You know, I just felt like I was ready to come back. Uh, I've been playing football my whole career. Uh, since I was, you know, 15 years old, 14 years old, when, whenever I started, right around that age. And I've been playing multiple sports since then, too. I was playing hockey, baseball, basketball all growing up. Uh, off the field, too, I was always fighting with my friends, fighting with my brothers, whoever it was growing up. And then I'm going into the football world, college football, the pros. I never, ever gave my body a break, like, in my life. Like, I'm talking like never. Like, even the off season, Moss, it, it was not like, oh, I'm going to chill out, relax, take care of my body. No, when I was different, like, you know, growing up, man, it was always go, 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 no matter what, if you're playing a sport, if you weren't playing a sport. And I just felt like, you know, your body needs time off uh, eventually. And th that's what I felt like, uh, man. And uh, I took that time off. Uh, I didn't know in my head if I was going to come back or not. You know, I felt like I definitely needed a break, but I was very satisfied with taking the break and I was happy where I was. Uh, but, you know, with that time off, uh, I started feeling better, you know, getting my body back into it. I stayed in shape, uh, kept my workouts going, uh, kept my cardio going. And uh, I just felt like the right opportunity came uh, to come and uh, come down to Tampa, uh, play with Tom. Uh, he came down here. My mom lives two hours away. Uh, be in the Florida weather, just everything lined up. And I just felt like it was a great opportunity to not pass on. What, 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 what has been, you know, taking that, that year off from football, now you're coming back. You talked about being in a different climate. You're on a different team, different organization. What has been your biggest adjustment since coming back? Oh, uh, it's kind of like being an experienced rookie uh, coming back. You know, I played nine years in the NFL, uh, but now it's a whole different uh, organization, a whole different climate, a whole different atmosphere, uh, I would say. And uh, it, I would just say just getting adjusted to that because once you get in a routine uh, – with everything when you're at one place, you know what's gonna you know what's gonna come, you know what's gonna happen, you you know you know how to react. So just you know just coming in and, and knowing that it's gonna be different, and and knowing that you're gonna have to react and you're gonna have to adjust. 
Um, instead of being a rookie, you know, you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, I knew that that was all going to come. I knew I was going to have to adjust. I knew I was going to have to do what I had to do, uh, you know, to prove myself, to get the respect of my teammates. Uh, I've been through all that process, uh, you know, my rookie year. So kind of felt like an experienced rookie. Uh, and just overall, just getting adjusted to a whole new atmosphere, I would say, was the biggest change. Uh, you know, at the beginning of the season and, you know, being on Sunday countdown, being on Monday countdown, you know, I've always been a big fan of yours, Rob, just for just how you play the game. And I always said at the beginning of the season, you know, where's Rob Gronkowski? Where's Rob Gronkowski? Sooner or later, they got to get Rob Gronkowski in the mix. Why the, why the slow start? You know, first five games, no touchdowns. Why the slow start? Was it just you trying to get adjusted of getting back in the game with just such a long layoff or what? I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into it, I, I would say. But, uh, I mean, I would say personally myself, I wouldn't say I was up to par to where I wanted to be. Uh, you know, there was some times in camp uh, I would show lots of flashes that I'm back and then a couple times after. You know, uh, a couple days after, a couple practices after, I wouldn't be as sharp as I was before. I would say the consistency wasn't there uh, on my part. And, uh, you know, in order to be successful in the, in the NFL, you got to be consistent on a daily basis um, in, in order to gain the trust in your teammates uh, and organization. So I would just say uh, I just kept going hard, being patient with myself, uh, doing what I needed to do uh, to gain the trust in my teammates and organization. And then eventually I knew pieces were going to start falling into place. We also got many, uh, many great players uh, here on this offense and we're distributing the ball uh, very well. But uh, I knew if I just kept working hard, taking my time, doing what I need to do to get back to where I need to be, uh, things were going to turn around and they were going to come. But I would say, I mean, I was still out there doing what I needed to do. I mean, I was, I was blocking well, helping out with the O-line. We were running the ball well. Uh, just playing tight end isn't just one-dimensional in the passing game. I mean, if you're not catching passes, I know you get harped on. It, it's pretty crazy. It's like, it's like I, I can tell you this for sure. Bl being a blocking tight end does not get you paid at all. I, I ain't going to lie. I, you, you may get some respect from your teammates and stuff, but being a blocking tight end doesn't get you paid. Look at, I don't have any catches, but I have a great blocking game. Oh man, we're Gronk. He blows. Oh, this, that. I'm like, I'm like, oh, all right. I learned my lesson. It's true. If you make plays and catch passes, you get paid at, at, at a, as a tight end. It doesn't matter if you block or not, but I like blocking. So I'm going to keep doing it. And, uh, you know, just got to keep on working every week to get better in all aspects of the game, baby. Uh, like I said, I, I was just, you know, patient with myself. I just kept working hard, going out to practice, showing that I can compete, make some plays, and it just started happening uh, within the last five games. Uh, you know, I got four touchdowns now in the last uh, five games. I've been making some big catches, uh, getting some first downs for the team. And I just knew if I just kept working, doing what I needed to do, it was going to start coming. And uh, I truly believe that I got a lot more left in the tank too, uh, big time. And uh you know, just going out there and just trying to improve every week, week in and week out. That's all I'm trying to do. And uh, I've shown some flashes, I would say, uh, for sure, of my old self, like uh, making some big plays um, in the passing game. Uh, and then and then I would say sometimes I, I'm, you know, not doing, you know, not getting open when I need to get open. But I just got to keep on working on it week in and week out so I, I can be consistent and I can be very reliable when it really comes down to that time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.